Hey, what's going on everyone? So in today's video, I'm gonna go over my settings and my pricing strategy for the Thanksgiving weekend or week. So I'm gonna just share my screen. I'm just gonna go over, make sure everything's kind of where I want it to be. And um, I'm gonna talk through my uh, thought process, my mindset, and uh, you know, hopefully you guys can use the information uh, that you'll be getting from this video to capture to, to try to capture those Thanksgiving uh, bookings here. So I'm gonna do a screen record here. All right, so here's my vehicle. Now this is the only vehicle that I have actively on Turo. It's my 2018 BMW 4 Series convertible. Nice looking car, like the pictures. So uh, let's go to, so trip preference. So right now, unfortunately, I am not able to offer delivery only because I work full time, uh, but I do have one hour advance notice pickup from my home location. And um, of course the trip offer, uh, that's always three hours. So my trip duration, uh, I used to do one day bookings. As you've probably seen my previous videos, I just got tired of it, honestly. I just got tired of cleaning, checking in the vehicle, cleaning it after, taking post-trip photos. It was just, it was just too much. Um, so uh, I've I changed it to a minimum of two day booking. So yeah, I, I just got tired of doing one day bookings. So, so that's that. Uh, so now what I'm gonna do here, so all that looks good. Uh, distance included, I always keep it at 200, so that's good. Um, I'm on the 75 plan. Uh, so just in case, uh, I'm gonna kind of go over this here and show you the screen. Uh, for those that maybe don't currently have Turo, but you're interested. So basically it seems like pretty widely the 75 plan is the most popular plan for Turo hosts. Uh, so basically what that means is uh, when you rent a car, say it's $100 a day, just for easy math. So you're renting a car, your day rate's $100. So of that, on this plan, uh, you would get $75 a day for the car. And then Turo gets $25. So, you know, if it's a three-day booking, you know, $300, you're going to get $225 for that three-day booking and Turo gets $75. So that's how that works. Now the reason I'm personally on this plan is as you can see, there's only a 250 deductible. Uh, so if there's any uh, issues and the guest is not willing to cover it through their insurance or whatnot, or out of pocket, we can go through our, um, our uh, host protection plan Turo will cover all the costs. It would just, they would just, uh, it would just cost us $250. So the key is you have to take really good photos and, um, that's the, that's the biggest key. But, uh, so that's what I got there. And then what I'm going to do. So the way I do it is I, I go to the, I go to the, I go in as a, as a guest and I just filter my search and, um, I'm going to see my car, of course, and all the other cars. So lately, I've just been focusing on when I'm pricing my vehicle, I'm just focused on convertible BMWs, not specifically uh, 4 Series, just any convertible BMW. And I just kind of uh, use that and based on, you know, the year and everything of other vehicles, the specific you know model if it's a two series there's um six series and all that that are convertible so we'll jump right right into that and i'm gonna go guest uh let's go here all right so as you can see here I'm going to filter my search to BMW, if it lets me, there we go, BMW, all models, all years, 
and then category convertible. So basically these are my direct competitors, all right? Because they all have, uh, offer a convertible BMW. Um, so let me see, what do I got? I got Wednesday to Monday, say. So I got Wednesday to Monday. That's hopefully what I would get, even if it's Sunday, I'm okay with that. Um, but let's see what we got. So you can see my car, uh, I did away with the discounts. I did away with the three plus day discount, seven plus day discount. I know they got the long-term discounts now. Uh, they used to have a 30, well, they still got the 30 day, but I think they do two months or three months. I haven't paid attention to it, but uh, I don't do any discounts. Um, the reason being is it just, for me, I'm trying to get a certain price point for a certain time of year. And it just gets complicated when you're offering an advanced booking discount and then, uh, and, and so the early bird discount, um, the three plus day, seven plus day discount. So it just got too complicated for me uh, in, in terms of me getting to the price that I want to get to. So I just got rid of it and I've been getting bookings. So I've, I don't feel like it's impacted my ranking on Turo. So I'm, I'm still getting bookings probably the same way as I did before. So I haven't really noticed uh, a decline in bookings for taking out those uh, discounts. Cause I know there's a optimal, you know, you always try to figure out what's the optimal settings you can have to maximize your, um, a listing you know to to rank high on the listing um, and you know I, I've played around with several I, you know I've, I've probably overdone it with with my uh, trip settings and my pricing and discounts and all that um, I go with what Turo recommends I go with you know more discount I've gone with lower discount and you know I haven't noticed a bump in business no matter what my settings were in this case, now that I don't have the, any discounts, I have not noticed a decline in, in business. So that's what I've, why I've done that. So I figured I'm gonna try it out and it's, it's been going pretty well for me so far. So as you can see, my car there, uh, $84 a day. So this would be again, Wednesday through Monday, Wednesday, the day before Thanksgiving to Monday, the day after Thanksgiving. So uh, as you can see here, so we got $84 for my vehicle. This is uh, pretty much the same vehicle. Uh, we have that at $76 a day. That's not my vehicle. Uh, my vehicle is only the one here on top. But this guy has it at $76 a day. Got a nice 2020. I love the color of this one. They have it at 114. Uh, a Z4, 70, wow, 2020 Z4, 75 bucks a day. Thanksgiving weekend. That's pretty low. Got a 2015 here at 76 a day. A 2019 Z4, 89 a day. That's more like it. Uh, got that. This is a nice one, red and black. I love that one. I got that at uh, 96 a day. For a 2022, seems kind of low. Um, but it is what it is. Uh, so you got the 2011. You got the... There's actually a lot of convertible BMWs on there, on the platform. I got this at 125. Um, if you look at this one, it's 78 a day. You got one trip, it's a new, new listing. And just the pictures of this vehicle are just awful. I mean, first of all, look, it's, it's chopped up here and chopped up here, chopped up here, chopped up here, and there's cars in the background. You know, you got the window sticker there, chopped up, chopped up. I mean, what's the point of this photo? Seriously. Um, yeah, duplicate there. Uh, looks like, I don't know what that is. Some white spots there. Yeah, just horrible photos. Look at this. Like. I don't know what purpose this picture serves for them, for their listing. So, yeah, uh, I've tortured you guys enough here, <laughs> going through those photos. 
So that's 78 a day. Got this one at 81 a day. So this is a four series like mine. Um, 134, 91, 94, 94. This is actually nice. I like the, well, it, it's a nice Turo car. Um, obviously the car itself, but also the color. Uh, I like the uniqueness of it. Got that at 94, I'd probably go a little higher, being that it's Thanksgiving weekend. Um, got this one at 80, 71, 99. See, I filter by convertible, this car pops up, so I wish there's a way we can report uh, a vehicle, because obviously this X5 is not a convertible, but the host chose that convertible setting. I don't know why, but I uh, got this at 85 a day. It's a two series, 94 a day, 64 a day. This is a new listing, 99 a day. It's not bad, I like the price point. I would do better on the pictures. Totally would do better on the pictures. Look at this. Look at those, uh, what is that a bottle of? A towel. Uh, the cable, it doesn't bother me as much, but you know, that, that's, that shouldn't be in the photos. So, uh, I mean, it's a nice car, red interior. That's what I've always wanted for Turo. I just never found the right one. I got this 2013 at 70 a day, 83, uh, 99, it's I8, 177 a day, nice, 179 a day, 154, 119, look at this, 4 Series 2015 for 89 a day. This one, look at the ratings, 4.81, it's pretty bad. This is the same host, so this car, and then this car is the same host, 130 a day. Yeah, he always, this person always has high prices, and it, as it gets closer, I've noticed that he'll lower his price. Pretty, I mean, it wouldn't surprise me if we're, it's uh, Tuesday and this car is at 70 a day. That's what he, I, I've noticed that in the past. Got this one, this one's, a newer listing it's stated two hundred dollars a day um no trips yet this is a new listing uh 2023 z4 at 269 a day let's take a look at the photos here yeah, i mean with me personally i mean Look at that, I mean, you're offering a nice car and you can't take good photos. Baffles me. I looked at this profile, that Tesla in the background there, that's on Turo as well. So, basically, um, I mean, it seems like I'm pretty competitively priced, maybe a little too low uh, at 84 a day. Um, now let's see, because I don't offer delivery, let's see if we could choose, see who delivers, can we do that? I don't know if there's a way, pick up options, oh let's see uh, who has all right, so there's 39 cars and only less than half, 16 do instant booking. Let's see, I don't think this matters, yeah. Wow, so 39 cars, only 16 of the 39 do instant booking. Mine's gotta be there. 
Wait, my car's not there for instant booking? There's gotta be something wrong with that. Reserve the car without waiting for approval. Yeah. That's... How come mine doesn't show up? Yeah, my instant book was on. I saw that toggled earlier. Might be a glitch. I'm gonna double check that. But let's go back here. All right, so yeah, 84 a day. I mean, you got this guy at 76, 75. 76, what am I at? 84. I mean, I definitely want to be aggressive, but at the same time, you know, I don't want to be low. Ninety four. Yeah, I think, uh, I think I'm going to do... This is 89. Yeah, this guy's just trying to see if anyone bites for 110 a day. No one will, especially not with that 4.81 rating on that vehicle. You wouldn't think. Yeah, it looks like, yeah, it looks like I can definitely get more. I mean, just looking at the competitors, um, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add five bucks. So I think 89 a day would be still pretty aggressive. 89 a day will still be pretty aggressive. So still pretty competitive, but I think more in line with right in the middle because right now I'm too low. See, I mean, the way I'm looking at it is I definitely shouldn't be pricing myself higher than these two cars, and these are at 94. Now, they are a little different. Um, I don't know if there's much space uh, in the back of these vehicles. You know, mine's a legitimate four-seater, so I don't know if those smaller cars offer that. See, in this person, using the dealership photos I mean dude can't you take your own photos I mean I guess he's got some here they're not good yeah, it's a shame you got the such a nice car with horrible photos And the interior ones are pretty nice, but yeah, I mean, this is, uh, looks like at the airport. I mean, can't make an effort to find a good spot to take photos. Yeah, and seeing this older one be, it's a 2016 2 Series, so smaller one at 85. Yeah, so I think I'm going to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add $5 to my day rate. And look, you know, I'm, I'm talking about these other photos. Uh, mines are, mine are not like, they, mine could be better, but I feel like they're pretty decent. I mean, you got the palm trees. Look at my photos. Different angles. None of them are like chopped up. I mean, I think mine are pretty good compared to these uh, other hosts. I mean, the, this is nice. This is, a, I mean, especially your first picture. Like this one's kind of slanted. This one's nice. This one's nice. Nice. Yeah, this one's horrible. Nice. 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 Yeah, so that's what I'll do. 
I'm gonna increase my price by five dollars. So let me go back here. All right. Uh, all right. So let's go here. So you see how it's eighty-four a day. I'm gonna go eighty-nine a day. Through. I'll do it through Sunday. I'll do eighty-nine a day through Sunday. So that's kind of how I'm, um, my strategy when I price my vehicle. I just see what my sort of direct competitors, at least the same vehicle, uh, what they uh, are uh, listing their vehicle for. And then I go, um, I go from there. So done, 89 a day. And then yeah, I haven't even touched January yet. January, February, it's still 110. March, look at March. Look at the suggested turbo price for March. It was March 8th, 9th, 10th. Yeah, definitely not gonna get, get that price. I know for sure. Um, but, cause I didn't get it this past March for the vehicle. So, so yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. So um, hopefully this, video helped you guys see how at least I price my vehicle and what I look for now um, if this was Wednesday and I still don't have a booking I would then look at you know the one hour you know booking it one hour in advance because my car is available in an hour which reminds me let me check if I have the instant book could have sworn I've seen it. Let's see. Trip preference. Where is it at? There we go. Yeah. Book instantly. Yeah, I don't know why it wasn't showing up then uh, when I filtered uh, for instant book. But, yeah, so we'll see how this goes. Um, hopefully, uh, you guys, all of us, uh, get, uh, get booked up here for Thanksgiving. And uh, it'll be a nice, hopefully, five-day trip, five-day uh, booking. Uh, at least four, you know, it'll be nice to get good, an extra day or two from the normal three days that I tend to get um, But uh, yeah, hopefully hopefully this uh, was helpful uh, Seeing my thought process my mindset how I search and how I want to price my car uh, As you notice, I didn't look at minivans. I didn't look at you know, Toyota's I didn't look at anything else I just looked at convertible BMW's and that's kind of how I priced it. Uh, now, uh, what I, I was really curious to see how many of the 39 have instant booking, but um, although I have it, I've had it, when I, when I filtered to get those only that are instant booking, uh, my car didn't show for some reason. So I'm guessing there's probably a glitch there. Let me try again, let me go back. All right, let me do this. Let me put the dates again. All right, so there's my car, 89 a day. All right, now let's see. Reserve the car without approval. Yeah, see, it's still taking me out of it. I don't know why. Don't know why. That's, that's gonna hurt. Uh, I'm gonna check, I'm gonna follow up on this tomorrow, see if, see if they fixed it, but yeah, if it's not fixed by tomorrow, that this is gonna hurt because there are probably people out there that are searching for instant booking using that filter, and my car's not gonna show up. So that's definitely huge. That's a big deal. So I'll see how how it is tomorrow. If it hasn't been fixed, I'm gonna reach out to Turo, see if they can fix it. But good luck, guys. Hope you guys that are watching have a great. Thanksgiving week and weekend uh, obviously both personally and on the business side and I'll see you guys in the next video take care